Now to more calls for change, this time in Indiana in the wake of a viral video showing a local black activist being attacked in an incident this weekend that many say had hints of a lynching. As CBS 4's Laura Podesta reports, federal investigators are now looking into this confrontation. No justice, no peace. For the second night in a row, people took to the streets in Bloomington, Indiana, following the release of this cell phone video. Thank God, dude. Showing a local civil rights activist being pushed against a tree by a group of white men. The victim, Vox Booker, called it a racist attack. I think it's undeniable when a group of white men feel that they can call for a noose, uh, call me nappy headed. Uh, scream out white power and attempt to lynch a man in broad daylight. The FBI is now investigating the incident as a possible hate crime. A demonstration in Indiana Monday calling for justice ended after a car drove through the crowd injuring two people. Overnight here in New York City, a civil rights protest also turned frightening after a run in with a car. Police say in that incident, protesters surrounded and banged on an SUV. The driver then took off. Thankfully, no one was hit. I seen the truck drive over a bike and take it down the block. And in an economic protest throughout the country yesterday, Americans participated in Blackout Day 2020, shopping only at black owned businesses or not at all. African Americans control over a trillion dollars of buying power in the U.S. And time and time again, we see that in order to move the needle in social reform, it's necessary to flex that economic muscle. The purpose was to show the impact black dollars have on the nation's economy. Laura Podesta, CBS News.